Preparatory work. The installation site should be free from dust. Keep dry and ventilated. Check whether installation tools and terminal accessories are complete. Check whether cable accessories match correctly. Stripping. Stripping follow with the dimensions of the installation instructions A. A equals installation tube length plus 100 millimeters. Keep 30 mm steel armoring from the bottom and peeled off the rest. Leave 10 mm inner sheath at the root. Peel off the inner sheath of other cables. And peel off the filler. Be careful not to scratch the copper shielding layer of the cable. Separate the three faces and wrap the copper shield at the cable end of each face with PVC tape. Grounding Wipe the dirt on the 50mm peeling surface of cable outer sheath. Polish the oxide layer and paint on the steel plate surface with color sandpaper. Fix the grounding wire to the steel plate and copper shield with a constant force spring. Wrap the constant force spring and steel plate with PVC tape. The copper shielded grounding wire is embedded in the three phase bifurcation of the cable with triangular cushion cone. Fixed on the copper shielding layer with a constant force spring and wrapped with PVC tape. Fill the gap between the two constant force springs with fillings glue and wind the constant force spring and lap the outer sheath 10 mm. Install heat shrinkable support sleeve Copper shield, semi conducive layer, main insulation layer, crimp terminal. Put three heat shrinkable slips into the root, heat and shrink. Keep 50 mm copper shield upward for branch sleeve and remove the rest. Face identification by using PVC tape. Leave the semi-conducive layer 20 mm upward and remove the rest. Do not hurt the main insulation layer when peeling the semi-conducive layer.
add plus 3 millimeters to the top of the main insulation according to the depth of the terminal hole. And cut off the main insulation of each face. Insert the wiring terminal and press the terminal according to the national standard. Install heat shrinkable stress pipe. Sand the surface of the insulation layer with fine sandpaper. When polishing the insulation layer, be careful not to polish to the half guide layer. Clean the surface of the insulating layer towards the semi conducive layer with cleaning paper. The stress evacuation adhesive is stretched and wound at the junction between the semi conducive layer and the main insulation layer and each lap is 5 to 10 millimeters. Apply silicon grease evenly on the surface of the insulating layer. The stress pipe is sheeted to lap 20 mm copper shield and heated to shrink. The stress evacuation adhesive is stretched and wound at the junction between the stress tube and the main insulation layer, and each lap is 5 to 10 mm. Install heat shrink insulation pipe, heat shrink rain skirt, face collar pipe, seal pipe. Wrap sealant around the wiring lock crimping area to fill in the gap between the insulation layer and the lock and the lock identation. Put the insulation tube into the lab of 20 to 30 millimeters with a support sleeve finger end. Heat and shrink evenly from bottom to top. If the insulation pipe is too long, cut off the excessive insulation pipe after cooling. Set into the face tube, sealed tube, heat shrinkable fixed. Put in a three-hole rain skirt for heating and shrinking. And then put in a single-hole rain skirt for heating and shrinking. The distance between rain skirts is 120 mm, two for each face. Installation finish. Clean up the side. Thank you for watching.